It's a hot summer day and you've been outside all day long and you haven't drank enough fluid. All of a sudden, you feel a sharp, bad pain in your flank that's radiating down. Severe, severe pain I'm talking. What could it be? It's kidney stones. Could it be anything else? Kidney stones. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to ChatterDocs. In this channel, we talk about everything and anything about health that you want. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about kidney stones or nephrolithiasis, if you will. Kidney stones are very common. In fact, 19% of men and 9% of women experience kidney stone by the age of 70. How do they develop? When there's high levels of certain substance in your urine, like calcium, oxalate, uric acid, or cysteine, or even when the levels are normal but you're not drinking enough fluids so you're not making enough of urine and your urine is concentrated they can form small crystals together which can anchor to your kidney and then it grows bigger and bigger like a snowball typically when the stones are formed they should move through your urinary tract into your urine but if they're a little bit bigger they may get stuck in the middle of the way the blockage will cause extension and straining of your urinary tract behind that blockage which will cause a lot of pain sometimes they're so big that they don't pass at all and we have to use procedures to take care of them what are the symptoms of kidney stone as as I said, a very severe pain in one side of your body, like in your flank, that will radiate down. The pain is usually intermittent and comes and goes. Seeing blood in your urine, nausea, vomiting, pain on urination, and the need to urinate in a hurry. How is it diagnosed? With certain imaging like ultrasound and CAT scan, we can see the kidney stone in your system. What increases the risk of forming kidney stones? Not drinking enough water and having a diet with high levels of sodium, sugar, spinach, or animal protein may increase the risk of kidney stones. Also, certain medical conditions such as diabetes, gout, obesity, hyperparathyroid can increase the risk of kidney stones. How are kidney stones treated? Well, it really depends on how big the stone is and where is it stuck. Oftentimes, stones smaller than 8-9 millimeters will pass on their own. It's just important to take a lot of fluids and also take pain medication to get rid of the pain. We can use NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, naproxen to get rid of the pain. Also, your doctors may prescribe medicine like Tamsulosin or Flomax which will ease the pass of the stone. You should make sure to strain your urine. I know it's not pleasant my friends but we need to get that stone. When you catch the stone you can take it to your doctor so it's analyzed so it will help with future planning of your diet and prevention. So oftentimes you can spend the treatment period at home until you pass the stone. Of course if you're having a severe pain fever chills, you cannot eat and you need IV medication, your doctor may send you to the hospital. Now what if the stone does not pass? In that case, you should see a urologist. The doctor is dealing with, you know, that area all the time, aka the P doctors, and they may perform some sort of procedures to get rid of the stone. They may do a urethroscopy, which means that they will go from below inside. Are you crazy? To take a look and get rid of the stone and also put a stent to make sure your passages stay open. For some stones they may perform a procedure called SWL or shockwave lithotripsy. Wow such a hard name. In this procedure which is typically used for the stones in the kidney they will send high energy shock waves towards the stone so the waves will pass through your skin and muscles and it will reach to the stone and will break it off so the smaller parts could pass more easily. In case of bigger stones, you may need a surgery in which they will go from outside, they open you up, they go inside and they take out the stones. How can we prevent further episodes of kidney stones? It's very important that you take your stone to your doctor and they analyze it and then they can tell you what kind of diet you should have to prevent further stones. Also, in all kind of stones, it's very important that you take enough fluids, especially water. Remember to avoid sugar sweetened beverages like sodas and sports drinks because they will actually increase the risk of kidney stones. Thank you guys for watching this video. Tell your friends about our channel and our videos. Also, tell me in the comment section which topics do you want us to talk about. Take care.